Tuesday, November 5th, I'm Paul Joseph Watson. This is InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight. A shadowy subculture which may have encouraged a disturbed young man. No kidding, who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day? ABC News implicates Alex Jones in the LAX shooting. And DHS hires a top secret security force. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. This is pure torture! Watching that con man slime bag, bag of pus, suck everybody dry. Top story tonight, DHS to hire top secret domestic security force. The Department of Homeland Security is to spend $19 million on a private security force in Wisconsin and Minnesota, an armed unit that must have a top secret security clearance according to an official solicitation. Now, we've reported numerous times on DHS hiring armed guards to protect government buildings in preparation for potential domestic unrest and food riots. But this one has a new twist because the highly unusual top secret clearance suggests that the DHS is not merely seeking to hire armed guards, but Blackwater style mercenaries who will be engaged in some kind of clandestine activity normally reserved for foreign spying or military operations. So what are they preparing for? Well, the DHS itself admitted back that they were buying equipment to prepare for, quote, riot control situations and followed it up with the purchase of pepper spray launching guns and 120,000 live pepper spray projectiles. Moving on, ABC News implicates Alex Jones in LAX shooting. ABC News implied that Alex Jones was responsible for motivating the LAX shooter during a report introduced by Diane Sawyer, which linked criticism of big government with violence. Investigators are studying a shadowy subculture which may have encouraged a disturbed young man. The TSA has a thankless job enforcing procedures we all tolerate through gritted teeth. A popular target. No kidding. Who else wants a job groping men, women, and children all day? Among some anti-government activists, the agency embodies a federal government that's too invasive, corrupt, and incompetent. So they basically insinuate that not only Alex Jones, but also anyone who stands up for liberty is an inspiration for violent extremists. Let's not mention the fact that Mainstream media is by far the biggest promoter of violence as a result of its tacit support for wars, which have killed millions of people down through the decades, with Obama himself recently bragging to his aides, quote, I'm really good at killing people, but they're not responsible for promoting violence. We are by our consistent message of peaceful resistance, which we broadcast every single day. So as John Rappaport notes, this is like blaming the murder of John Lennon on J.D. Salinger because Mark Chapman read Catcher in the Rye before gunning down the Beatles singer. It completely makes no sense whatsoever. However, I mean, this tactic doesn't really work anymore. The fundamental message of individual liberty will continue to resonate far stronger than any number of dubious lone nut incidents exploited by the establishment to frame their political adversaries. Moving on, related story, arming TSA officers hits resistance on the Hill, reports Politico. And again, precisely as I predicted in an article written hours after the LAX shooting on Friday, union leaders are now urging that TSA employees be given guns, handcuffs and the power to make arrests. This is a federal agency that has become notorious for hiring criminals through faulty background checks who then go on to commit criminal behavior. We've seen it many times before. And now they want to give them guns and powers of arrest. We've already seen TSA agents abusing their power to sexually harass women both on and off the job. Imagine the new level of authoritarian hell that this would open up. And don't forget that the TSA has never stopped a terrorist attack, 
primarily, of course, because the terror threat is massively exaggerated in order to justify big government expenditure. In reality, as academic studies show, Americans are more likely to be killed by bee stings or drowning in a bath than they are by terrorists. Moving on. FEMA camp city to exile the homeless. It's not a conspiracy theory anymore, reports Brandon Walker of FreePatriot.org. Under the radar from the prying eyes of the public, South Carolina made it legal to get rid of their homeless problem. These people were given a choice. FEMA camps or jail. That's right, those FEMA camps that the mainstream media says don't exist. So homeless people were housed in 240-bed razor-wire-topped FEMA emergency facilities on the edge of town and told that they could only be shuttled out of the camp if they applied to leave. This was before a big presentation that was coming to the town. They wanted to get the homeless people out of the way. Similar camps are also to be found in Galeston, Houston, New York, Boston, and New Orleans. So again, first they came for the homeless. In times of national emergency, are potentially dangerous political dissidents going to be treated the same way? Are they going to be given the same choice, jail or FEMA camp? This article also documents how similar policies of criminalizing the homeless are beginning to be introduced in Sacramento, Miami, and Southern California. So again, getting people used to the idea of taking the disenfranchised away to the camps. It's already happening. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com, the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro filtered sports bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever-popular grab-and-go-back favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com, and don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter.